wash daily Daily wash, wash daily God, please clean my room this time Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening Welcome to Daily Wash Wednesdays Today's topic is the necessity of dialogue our scripture reference will be taken from Matthew, the 5th chapter, 23rd through 24th verses, New King James Version. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar, and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Hallelujah and praise God. So today's topic is something that we must discuss. Um, I will be open and honest enough to say that this is a struggle that I am constantly trying to work through myself. And I know that through what I'm learning, um, God has provided great insight. I know this is a message that many of us need to hear. Um, in human life, daily, we will face various conflicts. It's just a matter of being... Some of those conflicts will be internal. Some of them will be external and involve you, yourself, and other people. And because we are in close relationships, typically with people we love and care about, those conflicts more than likely may be with people who you have to work in close proximity to. And for some reason, um, I know that the enemy used as a fear tactic with me. He tried to convince me that I, I should not openly discuss issues that I may have with my brother. When actually that is the contrary to what the Word of God tells us to do. If we use this scripture reference as a focal point, it's so important that you reconcile your differences with your neighbor that they're saying these people were going to the altar to make different sacrifices. And they're saying that, you know, that's something that's pleasing in God's sight. But you must be at peace with your neighbor before you can even take part in this spiritual act. So I'm just bringing the scripture up to let you know this is important. Stop allowing the, the enemy to get a hold of your mind to make you believe that you don't have to talk things out. If you have discomfort with the situation, you know, let that person know, let that individual know. Um, sometimes we believe that when you express yourself, there has to be some type of hostility involved. No one ever said that. You know that came from the enemy. Um, God has instructed us to be direct and clear, and there are ways for you to do that. So today I pray that you'll be strengthened and you'll have the courage that you need to Lay whatever it is you need to on the table and just be honest because usually when you try to cover things up or you try to avoid the discussion and, and unfortunately for me, I'm in relationships where sometimes sarcasm is replaced instead of open dialogue, things just get buried even deeper and deeper and those issues get buried deeper, different pains, hurts as a result are carried on for years and they shouldn't have to and they don't need to. Whereas on the other hand, when I do have open discussions, um, conflict is resolved much quicker and the healing process can begin. Amen? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this daily watch. Thank you for this day. Thank you for teaching us the necessity of dialogue and showing us that it is important for us to use our communication skills, especially when you bless us to have these senses to use, Father God. Lord, we ask that we will move forward and gain what you want us to gain from this watch today. And that we will be mindful of what it is that you want us to learn in this process. And that we never have fear or doubt about saying what needs to be said. Teach us to be gentle with our words and teaching us that there is a certain art to what you say and how you say it. And there's appropriate times as well. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Go in peace. Daily wash, wash daily. Daily wash. Wash daily God, please clean my room